Hello, it's Markham Torch here from Markham 3D, and in this short video, I'm gonna be showing you the hard surface detailer add-on. Now, if you wanna pick this up, there is a link in the description. So first comes to first, we don't have any materials on the ship. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import that come with the demo file. So I'm just gonna go file, append, locate our file, demo scene. Let's just grab all the materials and select all them and append them across. Now, the first thing I wanna do is kind of like isolate what parts of the ship that I wanna be breaking up. Now, predominantly the whole ship will be covered in paneling. However, this section through here, I want to have like a high density of greebling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly select this whole area. So now we've got everything selected. Let's bring up the side panel and change the style from high frequency details. I've got our uh, details pure metal selected already. Now the iterations, what I'm going to do is increase this to five. And what this will do is give some more geometry through this space. So let's go iterations and we'll go five. Let's apply that one. And then I'm just gonna press okay. And as you can see, we're still in edit mode and you can see all the wonderful greebling that's come through there. Now, if I just turn off edit mode, maybe let's increase that iterations before diverging, sorry. And the details depth multiplier, let's just maybe increase that to 15. And there we go, that's looking pretty good. We can see how much they're extruding now. And if I just come into, let's say material mode, we can see that the material has been applied to this whole section and it's looking really nice. Now, what about the rest of the ship? I'm gonna go ahead and select everything else. Let's go control L and this piece and these pieces up here, control L. And then also this middle section. So let's just go C wireframe and I'm just gonna quickly box select all these. There we go. And now I wanna make all this the whole piece. So from here up in the style, we'll change from high frequency details to the hull, change the material to, what are we gonna make? The hull material, there we go. I am going to delete, deselect some of the sections here because we will use the struts or the supports as well. So I'm just trying to find a straight piece, probably about here and here. And then let's go here and here as well. Let's live a little. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press okay. And there we go, we can see that now we've got the hull panels coming through. Let me just turn off that. And because this model is so big, we don't really see those details. So let's increase the separation depth, depth to maybe 0.1. And so now you can see that coming through. Now let's increase the separation thickness of the plates to maybe 0.08. And there we go, we can see that that kind of, now those um, lines are a lot thicker. The next thing we can do is add some jittering so it's not just straight lines, but they start going a little bit all over the place. I'm just doing gonna increase this to maybe 0.6. And now if we just go into the material mode, you can just see the paneling that it has been creating. Now, obviously if we don't like this, if it's not good enough for us, we can change the random seed. And so it's all about just playing the settings till you find what you like. Oh, that's an interesting panel line through there. I've actually got the wrong material on these. Let's jump down to here and change the hard surface hull bentus material to the other one. And there we go. So now we've kind of got this blue color and we can all change that through the material setup. It's really good having a look at the materials and what you can actually do with them. So from here, for instance, let's jump up to here. We'll change the color. Let's go for this blue. We'll change to a light gray. And then while we're at it, let's go a dark gray on the front side, I guess. And this side here, let's go for dark bluish kind of color. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. So let's go back into layout and do the structurals at the end. So let's select what we've left off, which is this section, this section. We also left this and this back here. And was there anything else? No, there wasn't. So let's come up into style and select structure. Gonna leave everything as it is and I'm just gonna press okay. And then if we turn that off, we can see that we've kind of got this section along here. Whoops, forgot to change the material, but let's just do that over here and we'll change that too the structure material, and there we go. Now I think the scale of the ship is a little bit too big, so that's what's affecting this, uh, the kind of material, but that's something we can play along with in the shading. Now that's a very brief overview of the hard surface detailer add-on, and please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out and keeps you updated with my content.